Camp is a community um, like no other community because here you don't have cell phones. You are not um, judged by who you were. United Methods Open Door provides food, clothing, and shelter to those who are in need. We provide this service to over 34,000 unduplicated individuals each year. This week we are providing our Thanksgiving giveaway to over 2,400 households Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday before Thanksgiving. We also do a day center for the homeless. We serve over 200 a day through that, as well as housing. I believe that OIMC will indeed claim its rightful place among indigenous ministry to people called United Methodists. I believe that one day OIMC will be that uniting force that Native American ministries and congregations through the, through the United Methodist Church and the nation will rally around and come to. I believe that OIMC
today we're joined by two members of First United Methodist Church in Omaha, Sonia Mikkelsen and Kay Peters. They're going to share with us about their work welcoming immigrant families into their community over this past year. So Sonia, I'm glad you're here with us. And Life here can be as crazy as you want it to be. Uh, sometimes it's very challenging to not get consumed with all the things that you have to do on the on a farm. Uh, you have to pace yourself and have a priority list. I think it's uh, it's great to be out in the open, to uh, be out in God's creation, and to be in the peace of it. I have cattle, so I get to see new life being born in the winter. And it's a uh, it's very humbling to uh, be there when a new calf is born and, and to see it do, to survive and to do well and, and its mom take care of it in nature. What makes my life complete is just my family and, and God. And People do this just for uh, the ability to come and just be a part of, of making a difference in somebody's life. Uh, the homeowners here are unable to get out and do this cleanup work and people just feel that there is a presence of Christ within us that calls us forth to be Christ, hands and feet in the world and, and to help those who uh, just need a little bit of help. It's a miracle from God that what they've done today and I want to thank them and the whole church. Tim board members Beverly Benson from Chapel Hill United Methodist Church in Wichita, Kansas and Hutchinson District Superintendent Dennis Livingston give us their definition of fruitfulness and how we can identify it. Let's take a look. Well, from my perspective, I see fruitfulness as um, living and loving the life of Christ in all spheres of our life. And it is driven by the Holy Spirit, which we... Our goal is to improve the quality of life of each family, whether if it be through our medical clinic or um, just any family that's in it. Five, four, three, two, one, zero, ignition, lift off. I always tell everybody that if you want to have a guilt-free week, come ride numb. It's not just a vacation. It's making a difference because these folks are out here riding because they've collected donations for hunger. There's going to be some folks who are going to eat and they're going to live. So if you really want to uh, feel good about spending some time away, come make a difference in this world. To think that we're getting close to a million dollars is very exciting for you know, a bunch of people that just like to get together and ride bike and effort. Racism, threats of war, conflict in our own denomination. In the 21st century, what does it mean to be the church? That's the focus of a four-week Bible study presented by the Committee on Faith and Order. Each session features a leader's guide, a worksheet for students, all kinds of discussion, and videos that help augment the learning experience. Participants will explore for themselves the distinct convictions of being United Methodists. What is our Wesleyan heritage? 
What does it mean to be our denomination? And how do we preserve unity amid diversity? First and foremost, those of us at Grace Med believe that access to health care should be a right and not a privilege. And that's what we work toward every day to make sure everyone has access to quality health care. Well, in the 12 years... Friends, it's charge conference time again in the life of the United Methodist Church. You know, every year we look back and we see what we've accomplished and how our goals and vision and initiatives have progressed. We evaluate them, we make adjustments. Sometimes we stop doing some things and we start other initiatives to help us accomplish our mission of making disciples for Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world. This year in the Salina District, we are calling...